A warm greeting. Today is Tuesday, June 24, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this short video, I would like to talk about the formation of the first tropical storm of the year in the Atlantic Basin, which formed today and is named Tropical Storm Andrea. Tropical Storm Andrea is located near latitude 40 degrees north in the Atlantic and very far away, so it does not pose a threat to any land areas. It currently has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, and it is projected to dissipate within the next 24 hours due to unfavorable conditions for it to remain a tropical cyclone. What is now Tropical Storm Andrea is associated with what was Invest 90 liters, a low-pressure system that developed along with a trough and which we have been monitoring over the past few days. This morning, the National Hurricane Center found that it had acquired enough organization to be classified as a tropical storm. So, this ends the long period we had in the Atlantic with no cyclonic activity, while in the eastern Pacific region, activity has been hyperactive, and so far five tropical cyclones have formed. Tropical storm Flossie is also expected to form soon as it moves west-northwest. Let's zoom in on the visible satellite image of tropical storm Andrea's circulation. As you can see, although it has a well-defined center in circulation, over the past few hours we can see that it has no rain or convection area, so it should soon begin the dissipation process. One of the reasons why Tropical Storm Andrea managed to form so far north and so early in the season is because sea surface temperatures across the subtropical Atlantic are between 2 to 3 degrees Celsius above normal, which was definitely an important factor in the formation of this tropical storm. In fact, if we analyze the points of origin of tropical cyclones during the month of June from 1851 to 2024, you can see that the formation of Tropical Storm Andrea is the farthest northeast that a tropical cyclone has ever formed in June. Typically, cyclones in June form toward the southeastern United States, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean Sea, and in some cases between the Caribbean and Africa. So, this is definitely a curious event. Although it is possible that once the hurricane season ends, the formation point of Tropical Storm Andrea may be revised, since many experts believe it had actually formed a bit farther west a few days ago, it still remains an unusual event. And although it may seem like a prelude to an active season, the reality is that the formation of tropical cyclones in the subtropical Atlantic in June does not correlate with cyclone activity expected during the peak of the season. In fact, if we look at climatology, the first tropical storm in the Atlantic typically forms around June 20th. So, in theory, we could say that so far, this hurricane season has had cyclone activity within the normal range. Now, Tropical Storm Andrea will continue moving northeastward over much cooler sea surface temperatures, which is why the National Hurricane Center projects it will dissipate tonight. So, what can we expect for the rest of June and the first half of July? Let's analyze the phases of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, MJO, where you can see that from late June through at least mid-July, an unfavorable phase for tropical cyclone formation in the Atlantic will be established. So, it is very likely that the next three to four weeks will be quite inactive in the North Atlantic region. In fact, it probably won't be until early August when we might see another window for cyclone development. And while the eastern Pacific region continues to have cyclonic activity, that basically guarantees that we won't have cyclone formation in the Atlantic. That is exactly what the runs from the European Model Ensemble members are showing, with no areas marked with potential for tropical development in the next 15 days. Well, that's all for this video. Before I go, I wanted to ask you to leave a comment letting us know where you're watching from, specifically which city and country for purposes of analyzing our audience. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe by clicking the red button, and click the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent night.